Hi everyone. Uh, today we are going to read the story, The Tortoise and the Hare. Now, The Tortoise and the Hare, you guys have probably heard of. It is from Aesop's Fables. So, a bunch of fables about learning life lessons. The Tortoise and the Hare is a very fun one. Um, there's a bunch of different types of Tortoise and the Hare stories. Um, we have a couple videos of a few of them. So, me reading a few of them. This one's just um, a cute Tortoise and the Hare. Then there is one like this, and then another one where I also have a video going up for a little bit different. So they're all fun. Um, today, the one that we are going to read is this, an Aesop's Fable adapted and illustrated by Janet Stevens. Okay, so she changed a little bit. Let's see if you notice any of the changes. Okay. So let's see. Okay. Mm. Mm. Once upon a time, there was a tortoise and a hare. Tortoise was friendly and quiet. He did everything slowly. Hare was flashy and rude. He did everything quickly. Hare liked to tease Tortoise about being so slow. When Tortoise ate breakfast, Hare said, By the time you finish your last bite, it will be dinner time. When Tortoise worked in his garden, Hare said, By the time you pick those spring flowers, it will be winter One afternoon, Hare followed Tortoise to the store. Hare teased him on the way. By the time you get there, the store will be closed, he said. You're so slow. I could beat you at a race, hopping backwards on one paw. But I could never beat you, Hare, said Tortoise. Yes, you could, said Tortoise's friends. All you need is a little help. Then you will race me, Tortoise, asked Hare. So those are his friends in the background. Tortoise pulled his head into his shell. I don't want to, he said. You've got to, said his friends. You've put up with him so long enough. We think you can win. Tortoise didn't want to disappoint his friends, so he finally agreed to race against Hare. He looks a little worried. Tortoise only had two and a half weeks to get in shape before the big race. Rooster helped him out in the gym. Raccoon cooked him healthy meals. Frog went jogging with him every morning. By the day of the race, Tortoise was ready. Hmm. Tortoise versus Hare. Very big race. Animals from all over the country came to watch the tortoise and the hare. Rooster read aloud the rules and described the course. Attention, everyone! The race will begin when I sound this gong. The six-mile course is marked by red flags. The first one to reach the f finish line wins. Runners, take your mark. Get set. Go! Raccoon sounded the gong. Hare bolted out of sight before Tortoise had taken his first step. The crowd roared and cheered as Tortoise inched forward.
hare was so far ahead that he decided to stop at the bear's house for something cool to drink. So we see hare there. Where's tortoise? Right there. Hmm. hmm. Hare rested and sipped lemonade. Bear noticed something moving outside the window. Hare, there goes tortoise. What? yelled Hare, running out the door. Hmm. Guess he wasn't expecting that. Hare passed tortoise for the second time. Then he decided to stop at Mouse's house for a snack. Hmm. So I guess he still thinks he has some time. As Hare munched on crackers and cheese, Mouse yelled, Is that tortoise I see out the window? I'm not worried about that slow poke, said Hare. I've passed him twice already. Then he finished his snack and hopped out the door. Hmm. So can you guys make a prediction? What do you think is going to happen? Hare passed tortoise for a third time. Now he was far ahead. He saw a pond and decided, decided to stop and rest. The, snack, the snacks had made him sleepy. Hmm. So let's take a look. There's Hare. And he found the pond. So he decided he would take an, a rest. Now I can see way up here. That's the finish line. So he's not very far away from it, but he wants to stop and take a rest instead. What would you guys do? Hmm. Hare was so sure that he would win. He took a nap in the soft grass as he closed his eyes. Hmm. He dreamed of victory. There's hair. And look how close. Look how close he is right there. Suddenly, hair woke up because the crowd was cheering. Yay, tortoise! The crowd roared. Tortoise was two steps away from the finish line. Slow down, you bow-legged reptile, screamed Hare, as he tried to catch up. Uh-oh. So we see Hare. He's rushing, he's rushing. The tortoise is right there. You think he'll make it in time? But it was too late. Tortoise crossed the line just before the tornado of dust and fur that was hair flew by. Tortoise had won the race. Hair couldn't believe it. That measly shell on legs had beaten him. Tortoise smiled as his friends carried him on their shoulders. He had learned an important lesson. Hard work and perseverance bring reward. So that was the lesson of this story. Remember what it was? Hard work and perseverance 
bring reward. Now remember, hair was very, very quick. It was very, very quick. He was very fast. He caught up really easy. But what did he keep doing? What did hair keep doing? He wasn't really working very hard, was he? And he wasn't really persevering or pushing through to the end. When you persevere, you keep going. When you get close to that finish line, you keep moving until you cross it. That's what you all should be doing too with everything, especially for third grade. But that was the story of the tortoise and the hare. Um, we'll look at a couple more stories like this. We'll have a few more videos up, and we'll do some fun things in class with it. Um, make sure that if you guys don't have a copy of The Tortoise and the Hare at home, you can go to the library, and there are a bunch of different versions of this story that are really, really fun. It might be really cool to check them out. Okay? Bye, everyone. Have a good day.